I don't know why, but it's not keeping the formation. I believe that's uh, something for the Fallen Lords. Oh, and that's great. So, hey everyone, F Pop here. And we're today going to start a new project, which is a gameplay of Myth The Fallen Lords. A uh, game released in 1997, and it was a big class for me, and there is a big mini playing this game. So, I do not talk very often about my personal life here. I believe that I never told anything like that, but recently I had a terrible loss in my family, which is the, uh, the death of my uncle, uh, Josué. And he was amazing, and it makes me uh, really sad to think about that. But uh, one thing that uh, uh, we should do is always remember about who uh, or beloved ones who I who you know the, the ones that passed away we should always remember about them and in, I always think about that and I have a strong belief in my religion but it, it's always good no matter who you are to you know to remember about the good stuff and all the good memories and this game it was a gift that I received in my in my birthday. So it was a long, long time ago. I believe that it was 13, 12 years old. So it was a long, long, long time ago. And I, I had a lot of fun with this game. That was a, a huge game for me. That was very, very good. I played a lot, the campaign. Um, I really think that it's time for me to play this game once again, since from the beginning. And I really think that this is the time that I should do it. And it's also because it's, it's a way of, you know, um, remembering about my uncle in a good way, because I had so much fun with this game. I don't think that he ever, uh, if I ever told him about and how much I played it, I eventually, I... I did my research and found the Myth 2, and then I played a lot of the multiplayer. And I stayed for many years on the multiplayer playing, but I, I was never big. I was never really a, an important player or anything in a very small community of Myth. But Myth, and it's a great game, in my opinion. Uh, it's an RTS, so it's my genre, but there is not really a big macro management of units. It's a very micro intensive. And it's all about battle in a medieval fantasy setting. So, yeah, that's the, my introduction, and I was really setting up all this stuff. Uh, let me see the controls. Okay, so... Okay. Okay. And uh, move. Okay. Uh -huh. Ability, re uh, rename, message, inverted bar, word. Okay, so I have no idea on how I do to actually on Myth, the Fallen Lords, what I do in order to make them What's it? Ah, orbital mover, turn. Interesting. So my first, uh, my first challenge at this game before it even starts is that there is a special command with the mouse. It's not a special command, but you can uh, change the the facing of your units. And I don't really remember on how I do that here. Horizontal mouse movements. So I have no no idea. Um. Okay, let's try. I believe that's it. On. Um, yeah, I I I got some save it games, but I'm gonna start from the beginning. Let me see this, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna delete uh, all of it.
And by the way, during the my gameplay of Myth, I'm gonna play all uh, the whole um, the whole campaign, which is 25 scenarios. I believe me, it's a really good story, and you will be able to actually follow the story um, both in Portuguese and English. I'm gonna keep my narration in English because it's uh it's easier to reach more people in English. So sorry about that. I would like to do in Portuguese series, but it would take so much time. But, 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 we are playing the game with the Portuguese language, so if you're from Brazil or Portugal or any, um, uh, any place in the world where you speak Portuguese, you shall be able to understand the story if you don't know a lot of English and you can follow my gameplay because you can read, because everything, all the content written here uh, in this game, it's uh, translated. But I'm gonna keep my narration in English, so yeah, th that's a good thing because there will be uh, uh, two languages in one gameplay, full gameplay of this game. And hopefully I'll be able to do more older games, this one has a lot of meaning. And there is one final thing, um, please check my finite comment because there is someone that I really want to help out during the, the times that uh, we are recording it, so... Right now, there is a person who I really want to help here in Brazil, so if you can, I don't know if you're from other country, if you can help on it. Uh, it's a crowdfunding, it's to help someone who... Um, uh, it's a very nice person who helped me a lot in the past, and I... Um, it's my... I consider a friend because we, don't, we didn't talk much, but it was a very nice person to me during my master degree at my university so Natalie she needs help and you can check out uh, the find it comment in this um, in this video okay so yeah please uh, help if you can e se você fala português eu gostaria de deixar isso bem claro sabe que é uma vaquinha que é muito importante então se for possível para você contribuir de alguma maneira, eu acharia fantástico, seria muito importante, eu tô deixando aí, eu tô colocando em várias redes sociais e é isso aí. Bom, vamos nessa. Uh... Novo jogo. Eu já joguei esses outros, mas vamos desenfegujar, eu estava desenfegujando, os vídeos que eu fiz não estavam tão bons. E eu prefiro fazer nesse formato. Vamos prosseguir no legendário para Ponta do Corvo. So I'm gonna go with the uh, uh, Crossbridge on Legendary, which is the hardest difficult. And believe me, that's a really hard game on Legendary. Uh, it's a very, it's a very good game if you wanna, uh, if you wanna check out how it is to have correctly and adequate on um, difficult settings. Because this on the hardest, it's really hard. So Crossbridge will be the first one, and it is on Portuguese. Now let's go on Legendary. Wednesday, August 3rd, Crow's Bridge. Yesterday our legion entered the village of Crow's Bridge and halted there for the night. We are just four days' march from the besieged city of Madrigal now, and with a little luck should arrive there in time to prevent its capture by the enemy. Shiver, one of the fallen lords, has been attacking the city for two days, but so far has been held back by its defenders. We all know the battle for Madrigal will decide the fate of all the northern lands, and that if it falls we will soon have nowhere to retreat but the ocean. Fearing for their safety, the villagers here pleaded with us to remain when we broke camp this morning. None of them understand yet what is happening, but they have all seen the refugees from the south, and they are frightened. Our officers seemed unsympathetic until the people returned with nine young pigs and ten dozen loaves of bread. Fifteen of us are to stay now, perhaps to fight boredom instead of the fallen lords, and watch the bridge here for two days. The bridge is being Whoa. Let's get out of here. So this is uh there is a bad thing here because there should be a cinematic play. Uh, it is a very cool one, uh, it's a very well designed one in my opinion. Uh, yeah, we are a bit late now. Yes, sir. These guys at the city, they should be running towards our um, friendly units here outside Warren the Bridge, but they are, should be right at the start. We should set up them to, to come to our aid, but they aren't, so very bad. 
But anyway, let's go. <laughs> it's a little bit of extra difficulty for us. Yes, sir. So as you can see, uh, we have here uh, many, many, uh, which looks like zombies. So some very, very scary zombies with big axes coming towards us. Uh, these guys, they simply bug it and they shouldn't, uh, they should actually uh, return, but they are not returning. So that's quite bad. And let me see, let me see. Okay, so what we are doing here and what we should do. There is, well, first off, we have access to the whole map, so that's where we can explore uh, something really great, which is all scenario, and back in the day it would look so much better, but it's an old game, so yeah, for, for an old game, I guess it's pretty okay. It's 1997, so that was something that would blow many minds at the time. But my mind, during the early 2000s, because I didn't have a good computer, that would be amazing. And there is a good city. It's a cool city, by the way. It's a lot of details, a lot of place where you can go and take your fight. But usually the recommended thing is to keep our units um, here, uh, close the bridge and try to fend off the enemies here. It's much better. And as you can see, there are some other enemies and they just pause it, which is a good thing that you can do during the single player. Because that's a very fast game, so it punishes you for any units that you lose. Uh, you don't get any way to get reinforcements. You usually get one army per every uh, every scenario, and that's it. And here, there would be a cinematic where these two guys are uh, talking, and then one of the guys, they, uh, they eat an uh, apple, and then they just throw away the, the rest of the, the apple. And the apple um, keeps uh, sinking in the river, and then it shows the face of these... Uh, mad zombies, which is a troll, and they are very weak, but they are extremely good in numbers, so they can really kill off these two guys extremely easy. But if they are separate in one against one, they are very weak. And as you could watch in this uh, cutscene, uh, uh, which is about the journal of a regular soldier, so you are in the middle of the war, you don't know much. I really like this way because that's why. That's how I actually get this game. I couldn't read some extra content, but the objective of this game is actually to put you like a regular soldier without main information and you're just there to fight for the Legion. There is nothing else for you to to, to really uh, do as a hero, as a special character. You're just a regular soldier. And here we are guarding this uh, town of Crossbridge. And as you can see, there are 16, I believe, uh, how, 6, um, what else you have, 6, uh, 9, 10, 14, 15. So that's it, that's our whole forces. We have the warrior, which are, you know, guys with sword and, and shields, or basic infantry. And here is the archers, so they're fearable, they're kind of an elvish race, and there is a dwarf. Which is very cool, and you can understand what he does, and why he's alone, and why he got a backpack. There is, it's all explained, man. Uh -huh. So, um, where I was speaking, I'm gonna save here, because... Round 1. Because we need saving, because I cannot really afford to restart this game several times. So, I'm gonna save, or I find that I'm advancing, and then return to the save game if I fail. Got it. Even being the first level, it's not really an easy level. I believe it's an old school game, so they do not have all of that, you know, easy stuff. There, there is many benefits here because you know the terrain, you have all the map. I believe that the, the villagers uh, actually uh, told you really well how it is the map and how it is the, the counter sign here, so you know many information, but at the same time, it's uh, it's not really that easy. It's not really an easy map because you're gonna see this at at least on legendary. There is many enemies, so if you don't take care of your units, you're gonna lose simply because there is lacking enough units to fend off the enemy. So that sucks. I don't know why, but it's not keeping the formation. I believe that's uh, something for the Talon Lords. 
Oh, and that's great. So as you can see, this guy, he, would, uh, he throws cocktail, uh, cocktails, milk love. So these are explosive uh, bottles filled with alcohol and it's a, it's a big explosive which is in order to literally blow up our enemy. So that's extremely cool, but as you can see, look at this, it failed, it botched it. So there is a chance to botch your attacks. The same thing is about the archers, so they can miss arrow. They can miss their, their arrow, arrows and it happens very often. So they can miss a target even if it's very close and that's because usually because they are new archers. And the same goes for the dwarf. If he is an unexperienced dwarf, he might fail while throwing. He might do a botched cocktail, he might do a bad throw, he might... Or it's simply a RNG. That's also simply pure. It's sometimes due to wind, so... But I don't know if they really deal with the wind right here at mid, the Fallen Lords. But it's all about these factors. Geography really, really matters. Um, there is friend fire, so if I put my walkers here fighting and then I put my dwarf, the explosive gonna explode both these guys and my walkers. And the same goes for the archers. The arrows, they can kill both my friendly units. So friend of fire is a big thing, it's a real deal. Uh, you just saw how it is. This game really punishes you out of nowhere. You are doing extremely fine and then boom, there is a botched, not boom actually, there is a botched, co uh, a, a, a botched cocktail matlov. So, uh, very, very interesting. We're moving. Ready. Got it. Yeah. Hey, move it. Okay, so that's very good. And how do we get a better experience uh, unit here? Because as you can see, we had some problems already. Uh oh, uh oh. Yes, sir. So we can be here. Yes. So we're not gonna waste our units here. And as you can see, there are some guys flanking us. Always keep your eyes here on the minimap. That's a good, good, a very good game if you wanna pay attention to minimaps and train yourself with this because you need a lot of movement you need a lot of action uh you need to actually deal with the oh crap that sucks that sucks that sucks that sucks see that's extremely dangerous it could kill me so as you can see out of nowhere we can kill we can be that we can you know As you can see, it's probably... I don't think that we can win this. Casualty. As you can see, losing this, it's way too much. It's just an archer, but... Yeah, okay. On my way. See? Uh, oh, yeah, uh, everything. As you can see, that is a friendly part. So, see this game? It's very ruthless. I know that the video uh, tends to drag a little bit longer, but that's what happens. But I believe that this time we're gonna get this this right. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're moving. Whew. So we have this, um, the first part of the scenario, um, where it's actually to decide where you want to take the fight. And usually, I, back in the day, I usually use it to, to go and take the fight to the city, because you can use the city at your advantage. There are some narrow passages, and... It, it, it works, but it's very delicate, because if they... Uh, See, that sucks. They, they can do some very dumb friendly fire. That shouldn't be happening. That shouldn't happen, in my opinion. As you can see, uh, listen, that's that's beautiful. Blowing up bad guys, I mean, zombies, it's simply amazing for me. And the way that they... You can just get rid of them this way, it's simply amazing. Yes, 
Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. We're on it. Ready? Okay. Okay. Okay, so these girls are very pesky and trust me, they can really outflank us just by going melee and having the right time to do it. So as you could see, um, we tried our best, but we couldn't really um, do a very, very um, effective damage here, but we can just kite around and try to special lure 10 away. It's really good in this scenario to actually attempt to. Yes, sir. We're on it. Oh, great. Yes. That was a perfect um, explosive on them. And stay down. We're moving. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 Your orders, sir. We're moving. Hey, move it. Okay. So we got a solace, yes. and now we have a good. A good opportunity because uh well that's an advantage for me but i know that there is only six goals if we had more goals around flunking us that would be much worse but now we only got this very very um strong but slow moving army so if they could join forces now they probably would uh strike us much much easier and as you can see we're having a lot of trouble here in order to uh uh flee from the enemy here Yes, sir. Yes. And another cool thing is that with the solas, as you can see, the arrows will trespass their bodies. And that's a big advantage. You can use this. Oh, as you can see, friendly fire among the archers. So that sucks. And What's going to happen to my yes, sir. oh man, um, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about your pumpkins, but you're not gonna make it. Yes. We're moving. So as you can see, if they actually dominate the village by destroying every single villager, you are you are done. You're pretty much done. Yes. Yes, sir. So I can try to bring the fight here. Now there is a horde of enemy against us. Oh, great. Okay. Let's get him. Yes. Yeah. Look out. Watch it. Sir? 
Step aside. Yes, sir. Oh, crap. Yes, sir. As you can see, I try my best to actually to actually take these guys out of the town. Stand clear. Yeah. Great. Yes, yes. Let's get them. Yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> Got it. Move here, move there. Hey, move it. Yes, sir. Got it. Oh, go get it then. Go get them. Sir? Burn! Yes, sir. Oh, crap. Okay, so we are doing good now. We could actually make their army confused. We're moving. Okay, you guys try to flee now, and we try to do something here. Well, um, the good part is that we have a special army, a special weapon, and although they killed some, they did kill many, many, uh, yes, sir. many uh, uh, peasants, we can actually try to avenge them. Because we got a special weapon with us, which is this on third some third the number four here, and it is a number of satchels, and these satchels they are very very important. They can be ex excellent weapons uh, using during at the right period. Uh, uh, so if you know when to use it, uh, they can be your best weapon. Trust me. So they're leaving now. Yes, what are you gonna do? Yes, sir. Got it. Yes. Stand clear. Oh, crap. As you can see, I lost one archer, but we definitely can try to overcome this. Got it. We're on it. Yes, sir. Stand clear. Yes. We're moving. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Got it. What? Okay. Yes. What 
Okay. Yes. Got oh crap! Casualty. Ready. Yes. Sir. Got it. Casualty. Got it. Casualty. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. On my way. Right. Yes, sir. Casualty. Right away. Okay. Casualty. Got it. Oh, crap. Casualty. Yes. Oh yeah, we lost way too many, way too many units in my opinion. But anyway, is that what we got? And we're gonna try our best here. Okay. If this guy just gave up of his own life. Right away. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So yeah, um, we're gonna see these beautiful things in action here. Oh fuck! Yes, sir. As you can see, that was a completely Got fail. It. Whoa, he just... He really slaughtered my... The, the peasant out there. Move here, move yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're on it. Yes, sir. What now? Yes, sir. Yeah! We're on it. Yes? Okay. <clears throat> yes. Hey, move it. Take that. Let's get them. Casualty. <laughs> Casualty. Got it. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Right away. Okay. Yes. Got it. We can protect this village, right. I think. All right. Yes, sir. Right away. Right away. On the way. On the way. Right away. Okay. Right away. Right. Oh, and there was another bomb over there. Right. A lot of dead people here. What is here? There's blood into at the window. Woo! What a play. So 46 deaths. So 30 trolls death, um, which is this. On um, Solace, this one 10. And goes 6.
and we had huge losses. We got two archers down, two order, uh, only two orders left. Eight, eight kills, eight deaths. That's a lot. And we didn't lose. We didn't uh, lose our dwarf, which is actually the reason on why we didn't we didn't lose this game just because of the dwarf. As you can see, that's a very cool cutscene. Those are two remaining warriors. There is an extra here. Maybe he came, but he came out of nowhere. Other is our one of our remaining Firbog and our dwarf here, Happy. And that was my epic play for today. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this play. It was very interesting. I just get up an epic one. And I should save more often, I know. But that was really good for the first uh, first level of this game. This is very ruthless and uh, very interesting game. I believe that mechanics of it are amazing. I really like how the scenario is. It destroyed it. There's a lot of javelins around. Really good for me. An excellent play. And I see you on the next scenario of the myth, the Falling Lords.